I'd say it looks pretty good. I used up all the flyers, so I, I, I think we got it all. I think it's enough. Da Danny. Captain Goldsville! <laughs> Really, would you get out of the street? You're embarrassing yourself. Gentlemen, I think I can help find this Captain Coolsville. <gasps> what? He can help us find Captain Coolsville. And it isn't that Puppet Duvall's agent? I've never seen that man before in my life. <laughs> You're right there? You okay? I'll be alright. We're gonna find him. It's gonna be okay. Smiles around Cause there's a new game in town It's time to excite At the roll of the dice With friendship Comes epic wins and defeats It's a land of adventure With board Hey gang, welcome to an all new season of Board, season three, right here on youtube.com slash board the show. We're your hosts, I'm Duvall. And I'm Pixel Dan. What, what's wrong, man? What, I, I'm really still kind of upset about this whole Captain Coolsville thing. I understand, I get it. I mean, I, I really liked that guy. And, and I know, he's... you guys are like the best of friends. <sighs> I know, I know. Look, we hired a private investigator. Oh, we did? You were out there. Oh. He said he was going to take the case. He's going to find Captain Coolsville. We hope. Or at least he's going to find out what happened to Captain Coolsville. Nothing happened to him, right? Oh, I like don't. He's, fine. I, he's just going to find Captain Coolsville. He's, he's going to find him. It's going to be And okay. then everything will be happy and I, we'll I, play games. Yes. And... Yeah, you and Captain Coolsville yeah. will go off and have your, yeah. you know, honeymoon or whatever you guys are doing. What? I don't know what's happening. No. Anyway, gang, this show is all about board games from the 50s through today, and it's the best and worst of what board games have to offer. Uh, and, of course, in order to get a game, we have to turn around and open the door and uh, say hello to Puppet Duvall, just like always. And not Captain Coolsville. Well, no. Again, I'm sorry. He wanted paid in real money. That's why I had to let him go the first time. <sighs> okay. I apologize. Right. That was a mistake on my part. I should have kept him. Yeah. The puppet is a meanie head. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Well, let's... Head. Let's turn around and... I don't know if he heard us or not. Let's turn around and open the door and see what happens. All right. Oh. Here we go. Mm -mm. New Welcome to season three. New season? All right. Hello. Hi. What? Hi. What's up? What's, What's up? To, How's the, it going? How's the hair in your eyes? There we I go. don't know. There we go. I fixed it. It's all right. The clouds are not a bit so long. I know. Ooh. Sorry. God. No. Hey, you know what? What? We, we are finally going to figure out what happened to Captain Coolsville this year. Finally. No. No. I mean, yeah. Dude, dude, we hired a private investigator. It's awesome. He's going to find Captain Coolsville. He's going to know exactly what happened and he's going to tell us. He's going to figure it all out. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's gonna be what? It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's exciting news, right? We're gonna find out what happened to Captain Coolsville. We're gonna find your friend. Oh, that's so wonderful! Get him! Oh, oh, hi, what? No! Cody down! Cody down! What in the? Cody down! What in the world was that all about? He was. Close the door. Oh, oh, okay, close. Sorry, close, close the door. Close the door. Whoa, what, what was that? in the world? He seemed a little rattled. A little more than usual, even, for him. I mean, I guess at least we got a game. Hey, the game was only a dollar. Oh, that's... Mystery Mansion, I've never heard of this. Neither have I. Let's go check it out. Let's go find out what's going yeah. on. That was the weirdest thing ever. Oh! Mystery Mansion. Mystery Mansion? I know, look at this. This game is, uh, it's, it's interesting. A Milton Bradley it's game. It's a mystery. Ooh. Milton Bradley. That's all right. 
made this game. Uh, it is uh, from 84. 1984. I was two years old when this game came Really? Out. Yeah, how old were you, like 30? <laughs> what? I was... Six? Maybe? Math. <laughs> Me math, not good. Uh, this game's kind of cool. This is a much different game than what we... What are you doing? actually play with. Uh, this game doesn't actually have a board. Uh, the whole thing is, where's the treasure under the Oriental Cat? Wait, what? time what? out. What? This show is called Board. I no, mean, right? We cannot have this on our show. Get it out of here. It's still a game. Technically, it's still a board game. But now it doesn't match with the title of our show, and people are going to call us out. It's I just, thought your show was called Board. How can it not have a board? It's, it's just, it's Sam's board. So. I'm just trying to help you out, Jason, from getting See, all that the, hate the, mail. The board are all of these uh, little cardboard oh. rooms. Cardboard rooms? Yeah, and they all. Cardboard, there we go. I yeah, tied it together see? for you. There's still a board here, guys. Cardboard. But there's different rooms. You know, you've got the sitting room, the kitchen. Sitting room. I think there's, what did it say, 20... The gallery. 24 movable rooms. These rooms can move and switch. Movable. Along the, along the board here. Drawing room. Drawing. <laughs> Ooh, the solarium. Everyone's house has a solarium. This is the master bedroom. This is the bed. Do you have a solarium? Well, yeah. Don't you? I don't, actually. <sighs> I have a ballroom. A ballroom in there? You do have a ballroom? I do. That's good. Because every yeah, every time. every American has a ballroom in their house. It's so dead in the fall. That is not what? how that song goes. No. Works. Okay. Let's the try. So we've got all these elevated rooms uh, of different sizes here. And then we've got uh, we've got some some smaller rooms. Still falling in the music. So we got like like the pantry and the wine cellar. I do. I want to. Yeah, these are these are all your basement rooms, uh, including your your entry point there, a little staircase there, a little Crazy. Mansion. Yeah, that's the the start of your 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 board there. So I assume that the reason we have movable rooms is the fact that every time you play this game, the house is set up different. Yes, yes. Every time you play, the house will be set up different. And then there's a bunch of little stuff like there's there's trap doors that go in the rooms. Ooh. Yeah, there's trap doors. There's stairs that lead you from one one set of rooms to the other. There, um, you've got a bunch of treasure chests that all have different numbers on them. We that did. All, that all have different we numbers have on them. Treasure chests. That uh, some of them, some of them actually do have little treasure. Really, really. <laughs> Move on to the next thing. <laughs> I wanted to show the treasure, but the oh, that one's got a cobweb in it. It's got a little little spider web. There's nothing in that one. It's a little spider web. Like an actual? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no. Gotcha. Not an actual one. Okay. Like no. there's just like a little spider in no, there that no, jumps no, out no, at no. you? That only happens when stuff from your house comes here. What? What? Mm. He's lying. I got a transformer from this guy that was a big old spider inside the box. It's scary. It's Maybe right. it was the um, purpose. But the dice is pretty unique because the dice is something uh, you will roll when you get to the treasure chest because there's... Uh, there's every all, side say open. Almost all the sides say open except one, which oh, says locked. Oh, okay. All right. So it'd be awesome if the dice just had the exact same thing on every side, so it's completely pointless. What happened? What am I gonna get? <laughs> uh, open. We got a whole, whole stack of search cards. Big old stack of search cards. It's like, oops, you've been waylaid. No clue here. The waylaid. It says waylaid. <laughs> this game. Apparently, uh, there's like. Cards with the, the sink and the furnace, uh, the cabinet and chest of drawers, 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 uh, bed and rug. There's like all kinds of uh, search things in here that you you know. Of course, when you draw one of those, you'll search an item inside the room to see if the treasure's there. Or not. All right, all right. Uh, and then we've got all of these uh, clue cards. So you've got search and clue cards, and some of them are like secret passageway, Ooh. and you've got the treasure chests. Ooh. The ones that are on the floor. Just one, maybe a treasure thingy. Uh, keys are in there. Keys. Uh, and then we've got like uh, some of them say, uh, "Steal a treasure, you must be in the same room." So, well, that would make sense. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. can't steal a treasure that's in a different room. No. Well, we could. Oh, a rock. That's a, a pivotal playing piece for this game. The, we need that rock. No, we don't. That's the murder rock. 
And then in uh huh. Why do we always play complicated games? That's a lot of instructions. How to play your cards. You're not going to play your cards is like a, a page and a half. All right. You going to read all that? I will. Let me know how to play. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this. Well, let's uh, let's let's set up the... Well, I guess we can't really... We kind of can set up the board, I guess. Let's, uh, let's... The cardboard <laughs> pieces. <laughs> set those up. No, we need those. Quit oh, throwing things on the floor. Sorry. They're, these are pivotal. Spiderweb. Spiderweb. Spider yes. Yeah. All of this is essential. We need this to find. Apparently. I'll have to dig down the treasure chest that we dropped. <laughs> or I dropped. It's down here somewhere. I'll find it. I'll find it. Well, let's set up the board and let's see what uh, what it takes to play uh, good old Mr. Manchon. Let's do it. You were two, right? When this came out? I was two. You're still two, technically. Mentally. What? Ah. That's, that's a sick Deval burn. Yeah, classic Deval burn right there. <laughs> Let's find out how to play Mystery Mansion. Hmm, interesting game, this uh, Mystery Mansion. Yeah, no board, 24 separate rooms that make up the mission. Interesting. First things first, we take the foyer and place it between us on the table, and then place the other 23 rooms picture side down and set them nearby within reach. Next, we take the front door card here and place it so the staircase leads to the double doors of the foyer. You take the treasure chests here and mix them up. Now, two of the chests hold golden jewels, which are the real treasure you'll be hunting for and trying to get out of the mansion. Uh, the others are cobwebs and dust. You can shuffle the clue cards, and then shuffle the search cards and deal five search cards face down to each player. Place the decks face down within easy reach of both players. Finally, each player chooses a colored pawn and places them on the front door card. And we choose who goes first and then play continues to the left of that player. All players enter the mansion through the double doors of the foyer. Each player has to roll open on the door die in order to move your pawn into the mansion. What do we do on each turn? On your turn, you can roll the door die, or you can play a card, or you can do any of those combinations to total three actions. Each roll counts as one action. Each card played counts as one action. You have to do three actions per turn. The door die here is marked open or locked. you roll open, you can enter a room or you can add a new room to the mansion. Roll locked and you can't move or enter the room. Either die roll counts as one action. And then there comes a playing card. The search cards here allow you to search objects in a room for clues. Each time you play a search card and discard, you immediately draw a new search card to replenish your hand. And then draw a clue card. Now, these clue cards help you find treasure chests and the keys to unlock them. Now, we'll talk about those in a bit. Okay, so we know a roll of the door die that lands on open allows you to enter a room. Yeah, that is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Well, what about building the mansion? How do we do that with the open roll? Okay, well, first, let's talk about the rooms. The 24 rooms are divided into three types here. Basement floors, which are flat. First floor levels, which are 3 4 inches high. And the second story rooms, which are 1 and 1 4 inches high. 
The basement rooms are the boiler room, cellar, laboratory, pantry, sewing room, storeroom, utility room, and wine cellar. The first room floors are the dining room, drawing room, the foyer, the gallery, the kitchen, the library, the music room, and the sitting room. And the second floor rooms are the ballroom, the bath, the guest room, the maids room, the master room, the nursery, the solarium, and the study. To add a room, you roll open and choose a room from the pile nearby. Place it next to the room you are in currently. There are some rules here. You can only choose a room on the same level or one level above or below your pawn. For example, if your pawn is in the basement, you can add another basement level or a first floor. But you can't, can't add a second floor piece. Also, at least one of the doors in the new room has to line up to a door in the room you're already in. Plus, the walls of both rooms must touch and line up. You can't line the rooms up in such a way only part of the walls touch. This would be an illegal addition. When you add a room one level above or below you, you have to add one of the plastic staircases to the lower level room directly in front of the open doorway between the two rooms. Now once inside the room, you can search the room for clues. If the object that you want to search for in the room matches the images on one of your search cards in your hand, once you decide to play the card, tell your opponents out loud, show the card, and then place it face down on the discard pile. Draw a new search card, and then draw the top card of the clue pile. Now the search cards don't just show you items that can be searched in any given room, they also direct you to perform different tasks such as steal a card from any player, change places with any player, move to any occupied room, lose one action of your turn, oops you've just been waylaid, no clue here, uh, waylaid? Who says waylaid anymore? Dave. Dave. Then there are the clue cards. They are the treasure chest card, which means you found a treasure chest. We'll come back to this one in a bit. The cobweb card, which means you have found nothing on your search. The key card, which has a number from 1 to 7, and will help you when we get to the treasure chests. The steal a treasure card which allows you to take not only a chest from another player, but also the key card to unlock said chest. The steal a clue card from every player. And the secret passage card, which allows you to create a secret passage between any two rooms in the mansion. Okay, so as you move through the mansion, adding rooms, playing search and clue cards, until you pull a treasure card. Finding a treasure chest in a room does not automatically allow you to take it. On the bottom of each treasure chest is a number between one and seven. You have to own the matching key before you can grab the treasure. If you don't have a matching key, the treasure stays where it is until another player can get to it that may have the matching key. Once you've obtained a treasure chest, you and the chest must then make your way out of the mansion and to the starting point. You and the chest move together through the mansion. The only thing you cannot do with the chest in your possession while moving is go through a secret passageway. And it's possible as you move throughout the mansion that someone can steal the chest from you, taking both the chest and the matching key card. There are two places where you are safe from a steal, and that is in the foyer area and outside the mansion. 
you manage to get out of the mansion with your chest, you can use the key card to open it and check the contents. You find cobwebs, discard the chest, and move back into the mansion to attempt to find another key and treasure card to try again. But you manage to leave the mansion and unlock your chest to find the real treasure? Then you win the game. Boom shakalaka. Yeah, no, I see. You got the treasure. I'm uh, I'm just making sure everybody knows I've got the actual treasure right now. Uh, Watch this. The angels sing every time I open it. Okay, so all I gotta do is leave, right? And then... Unless I make it to you and I can steal. You're not gonna steal anything. I'm gonna steal the treasure chest. Me right and here. my treasure chest are going home right now. It's my turn, right? Yeah, no, it's your, yeah, it's your turn. So, I'm a little bit closer. Hanging out in the foyer on my way out with, oh, my treasure. What did that say? Nothing I can use. It says, oops, you've been waylaid. No clue here. <laughs> waylaid. You got waylaid. Says waylaid. Does that mean like your guy falls over or something? Yeah. Waylaid. Ah! Is it my turn? Yeah. Where should I go? Hmm. Should I head over to the laundry room? Should I go ahead and go over to the music room? Should I just go to the toy room? Is there a toy room somewhere? The toy room. Actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave. With my treasure! Oh, oh, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Pixel Dan wins! Pixel Dan wins! He's going with treasure to buy lots of toys and not, not share them with the vault! Well, that was kind of mean spirited. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. At least share your toys with All you. Alright, I'll share a toy with you. God. Share. I wouldn't just buy toys and not share them. Um, yeah, you would. You're Pixel Dan. You're right. Wait, what? What's that supposed yeah. to mean? It means a lot of things. Oh, like different boo, levels. boo. Sore loser over here. This guy. Sore loser. Hit you with a stack of stairs. A stack of stairs. Stack of Mystery stairs. Mansion. It's a very, very interesting game. It's, it's a very interesting concept. The fact that it... I made a stack of stairs. No, you didn't make a stack of stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. All right. It's a very interesting concept, the fact that the game changes every time you play. Um, I like the idea of you never know what room you're pulling out. Um, you know, you start in the foyer and you, you build a room. You can move into that room. You know, you roll your, which we thought was the treasure die, actually, is the open the door die. Found that out while we are playing. <laughs> you, you roll that to see if you open or, you know, if the door's locked. And if it's open, you add another room next to you. Um, that's kind of cool to me that, you know, you just create this mansion as you go. Uh, creating it as you as you will. You know, you have to place stairs to go up and down from the different floors. Um, you can put trap doors in. The, 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 the fact that, you know, you use a lot of the search cards to search the rooms for the treasure chests um, to find the one true treasure in order to get back out to the foyer and back out to the main um, the main stairs. The only problem is, is that the rules, it, it's a very, very complicated game for a simple concept. Yeah. I mean, when you've got... Uh, when, when your rule book has this awesome neat appendix on the very back of it that basically shows you your move like how each yeah. it's a complicated uh, diagram in, in directions on on the three different actions you can choose on every game and you know how you know you've got all these steal a treasure cards it's 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 really really kind of a complicated it game. is it's complex and that's always kind of a big turn off i think um Especially when you're a kid wanting to play games like this, and you're like, this is cool, we can set the house up any way we want to, so it's different every time we play, except we've got this gigantic <laughs> booklet that folds out into a poster with all these crazy and, rules that we've got to try to figure out for And us. the game was for ages 8 to adults, but I can't imagine 8-year-olds, uh, or I couldn't well, imagine myself at 8-year-olds going, I don't know how to play this. With like all the little plastic pieces and the treasure chest and stuff, this would be one of those games that as a kid, I would just kind of set up and play with. I totally wouldn't have even followed the instructions. No. I'd have made my own rules for a game like this, so I'm sure I'm not the only one. No, probably sure. not. I, I would have done the same thing too, because... You know, I would have had fun putting the rooms together because they, they do show you how to fold all the rooms together, which yeah. is kind of interesting. But uh, 
I would have had more fun because when you have to read four pages of instructions on a sheet that big. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what? <laughs> good gosh. I mean, that's just, that's ridiculous. Uh, that's almost as bad as Dark Tower last season. Yeah. The Dark Tower right. instruction booklet was a novel. Yeah. Also, I don't know if it's because of the age of this thing or not, but none of these treasure chests stay closed. <laughs> that one does. Which is, yeah, we've got like one or two that are actually staying shut, but the rest of them don't even latch. So that's kind of an important thing because we can blatantly see which ones don't have treasure. Yeah, because they're just, they're just hanging out and you kind of go, oh, there's a yeah, spider like, web. Oh, that, that one's a spider web. web. That one's a spider web. Oh. That one's a spider but web. But technically, so. though, the, the chests aren't even in the rooms to begin with, so... You know they're off to the side, so you could always, especially with a game to say, you could you could set it up so you no one can see the chest. So when you pick one up and yeah, open that's it, that's what you would have to do, yeah. I think. And like I said, this could just be a thing because it's older, so they just don't function as well. I anymore. think it is. The plastic but, is warped since yeah. it's so old, and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of yeah. sad. Um, it, it is a neat game though. It's a very like I said, it's a very cool concept. It just it's so so over complex. Um, it seems to be a trend with a lot of the games in the, the early to mid eighties. Yeah. Uh, a lot of, it does, we've run into a few of these, like a lot, really a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of them that aren't, uh, that are just overly complicated like this. They, they're not, not as fun to play. They're still cool games. They're just not, uh, it takes a lot of setup. It takes a lot of time to play the game. Um, it's like playing a, a game of Monopoly, only not as bad. So if I'm calculating correctly <laughs> with this pearl necklace and this red, purple, green, and blue gem, and all those coins, I have roughly $2 trillion in this case. <laughs> all right? Oh, okay. So, you want to go toy shopping? With $2 trillion? Yeah. Why don't we just build a time machine? We'll go back to 1985 and buy all the cool stuff. Will $2 trillion do that? I can't imagine it wouldn't. Would I use all $2 trillion on a time machine and then not be able to buy the toys when I got there? These are things we have to think about, Jason. <gasps> Smash and grab! What? Like we're gonna go back in time and steal things? We probably shouldn't do that. That's Sorry, a bad guys. idea. That's a bad idea. Then we're gonna end up in 1980s jail, and we'll be just stuck there. 1980s jail is not a pretty thing either. Well, I mean, jail probably isn't a pretty thing at all. No. But I don't know. I just... No. Then our time machine would get stolen, and. All right, I'm I'm going shopping. All right, that's yeah, the decision that's... I've made. All right. I'll guess... I'll order you a pizza. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That's very kind of you. Yeah. Again, I picked a Dan. I don't share my toys with no one. What? I offered to You offered a pizza, not toys. You know what? Let's, let's just go toy shop, and I'll watch you buy all the toys. This guy. And we'll worry about it later. I guess I'll, right. I'll pick this up later. All right, yeah. Guys, just... we'll be back next week with an all-new show in uh, Mystery Mansion. Dan's going to go buy lots of toys with, with his money. So. Bye, guys. See you next week. All right, you've shown him the money. Let's go back to books. Oh, okay.